How's it going, you wonderful people? We are playing another Explorer video. This time we're trying out Greg Orange's Pioneer Blue White Control list that he went 7 and 3 in Pro 2 of Phyrexia with, which was Pioneer, not quite Explorer, but every single card in the deck is legal in Explorer. And again, the formats are very similar. So I'm just going to run the list and try it out in this format. Greg Orange is known to be a control master. He's playing control every single time. I think I've never seen him not play a control deck. Um, even if it's absolutely terrible, Greg Orange is going to play control. Yeah. Um, here we have a blue-white list with Yorian. We've already seen those in the past. Abusing Omen of the Sea as uh, an early game card draw that you can then later on flick of the Yorian, having some extra card advantage. Blue-white control is a archetype that has a ton of playable cards so it's not that difficult to fill your deck up with um 80 cards right so what are we else looking at interesting choices temporary lockdown four of pretty strong commitment to this card um just saying hey if i play against someone that wants to rush onto the board with creatures out of humans for example or a deck like Rack of Sacrifice that has various permanents like Witches, Oven, and Treasures to exi exile. Or even Mono Green Devotion with a start of Lanaway Elf into Willful the Haven. And um, you can really take out their early development with Temporary Lockdown. So that is assumed the reason there. Um, notable no sensor at all in the, in the list. We are choosing to play two Jirai Disruption and three Make Disappear here. Interesting, interesting stuff. And three Vetoes also has two mana counters. Um, turn turn four, we're doing Watering Emperor. I mean, fantastic planeswalker, memory deluge, of course, and a sweet one here. Rewind, counter target spell, untap to four lands. I think this is a really cute addition. Um, this is the type of card that, of course, as a four mana card, it's kind of clunky, but it can be a huge tempo swing. And when behind, you can on turn four really get back into the game by countering something and then playing a deluge or a Wandering Emperor afterwards. So I, I really see the appeal with all these uh, excellent four drops um, to play Rewind. Definitely curious to see how that plays out. Verdict, I mean, not much to say there. Just the card and blue white, of course. The fairy, we don't have to explain that one. Four Shark Typhoon, excellent. Also against the up and coming Spirits deck, right? Spirits hates Shark Typhoon. They can't really do anything about it. Can't Mausoleum Wanderer or, um, sorry, Spell Quillet. And then we have an interesting one. Leyline Binding is in here as the removal of choice. You often see stuff like Portable Hole, but of course, when you play Temporary Lockdown, you don't want to play Portable Hole. Uh, and Fateful Absence and March, of course, is early removal. Greg choosing to play Leyline. Um, the interesting thing is the mana base only contains six Triomes. Um, so, yeah, if you draw one of them, it's going to cost three mana. If you draw two different one, it's going to cost two. And if you draw all three of them, it costs one. Mm, I don't find it as appealing, you know, on first glance. If you don't draw any of these six, um, you just draw like a plains and an island. This is really expensive. And if you look at the deck, I mean, we only have 10 other lands that actually provide us with that type of planes. All these other lands don't have types on them. Um, which is concerning a little bit because this will sometimes be really, really clunky in your hand if you just have a hand with like deserted beaches and glacier fortresses and so on. Can be the case. So, uh, I don't know. I'm not convinced about that. So we got to look out for that. I see we have different artworks of Field of Ruin. That obviously doesn't make sense. All right, I'll craft the two uncommons I'm missing. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I have plenty of them. Um... Yeah, four field of ruin just against all the man lands running around out of out of Rakdos. Of course, Rakdos has the advantage of uh, having the man lands in the in the mid to late game, and four field of ruin clears those. And randomly, it can also be good against a deck that doesn't play any basics. Yeah, and then uh, other utility lands to Iganjo and Aurora. Of course, we play Hall of Storm Giants, Castle and Castle, Castle Ardenvale. Making one ones can be pretty good in the mirror match. Um, to have that clock that doesn't do anything else yeah i mean i'm i'm a big fan of control the again the qualifier weekend is coming up so you don't really have to convince me to play control and test it and also showcase to you the latest iterations of the archetype again it went seven and three let's take a real quick look at the sideboard we're looking at yorin of course 
Free for Gust, Flexible Card, Ghoul Vehicles, Mono Red, whatever it may be, all the Reactors decks. Now it's Reversal. Um, yeah, this is a really strong card in control matchups, can be good against creativity decks, um, Magma Opus stuff, Fort Distortion, of course, and also Lotus Field, which isn't a deck in Explorer. Um, so maybe you can go lower on Nazar's Reversal because Lotus Field is not around yet in this format. For Dovin's Vito, to rest in peace for Graveyard decks. Oh, we have four Aether Gust, actually. Never mind. Uh, that's a lot of Aether Gust. Um, Denik is a cute one against specifically Grease Fang. Shuts off the targeting ability of Grease Fang and is also two free body, so it can block cat tokens. And th the important thing, it, it doesn't die to um, Night of Autumn. It doesn't die to Widow Bloom Command as a graveyard removal interaction thingy. So it's quite nice against especially Absent Grease Fang. And I'm sure it's pretty much just a hate card for that archetype in the sideboard here. But of course, I mean, it's two free lifelink body. You can bring it in against an Eidolon of the Great Revel mono red deck. Musical Dispute, not much to say there. And then Dream Trawler and Hopebreaker Horror as extra threats. Dream Trawler can be really nice against a, a mid range deck. Games go fair, games go slow, they don't have counter spells. Bring in a Dream Trawler, just win a game with this card. I mean, Hexproof draws a card every turn. It's uh, pretty phenomenal for six mana. Hopebreaker Horror, you know, just for the control mirrors, blue matchups. Pretty good card. Yeah, that is blue white control. Pretty excited about it. Let's play some games, shall we? We're on the play, let's go. Mm. When Leyland Binding is enabled to cost free mana here. This hand is weird. No companion. I mean, I technically have interaction against a fast start. I'll try it, I guess. Lockdown is such an interesting card. I'm super curious to see how it plays out. Okay, Fawn sees my memory deluge. It's cute that it's kind of decent against a fast start out of... Um, Rakdos, like if they go Harvester into Fable. But of course, I mean, that's the best case scenario, so. There's draws where they just play a Dress Passer and then the lockdown looks kind of bad. Okay, let's play this one and return Yurian. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, play this one and pass, keeping Otavara as an option and Javai disruption. Rakdos, Rakdos, Rakdos. Okay. Interesting. I'm wondering if I should bounce the Bone Crusher here. I think I should do so. And then just lock down the Bone Buster. Need to buy time for, for this deluge. I guess they could just activate the hive to exile my deluge. I yeah, I mean they used their turn to do so. I think that's fine. That's not so fine. Uh, it's the opposite of fine, actually. Yeah, and an update is available. Okay, I will restart Arena after this game. All right, we're gonna likely lose this one. Shieldred surviving. <laughs> not the best case. Go to eight here. Going low against Rakdos is how you lose. It's usually a race. I think, especially when you have Yorian, the blue-white deck um, wins the late game. 
but uh, it has to get to the late game. So, of course, it can be an issue. Shieldred, I mean, you have plenty of answers for that card. The fairy is one of them. I go to six here. Yeah, okay, we will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, I have to do this. There's no other line. Just have to minus on the shield red. It's better than nothing. And we see from there. Probably killed it to ferry. Yep. Um. Uh, I don't even know how I get out of this. Wandering Emperor, probably. The card I want to draw the most. I go to free. Yeah. Field of Ruin would help against the Hive. They have much. Wouldn't have mind to draw that last turn, to be fair. I mean, one thing at a time, I guess. We had to draw an answer to Shieldred first. Still gonna die to the Shieldred too. I mean, a lot of things have to go well here for me to win this game. Yep. Okay. Exile. Then I can Javari the Bone Crusher and scry myself into Teferi into Absorb. How about that? Is that is that a plan? I guess I could have scryed first here. I could also make one ones and hope to just have the god draw on top. Do I need a 1 1 to survive? I probably should just cry. I think it's fine. I don't need the 1 1 right now. I don't have anything to block, anyways. Um, so they're going to slam a shield. Root. Hmm. I'm at free. They probably have plenty of fatal push in hand, so I think Shark Typhoon is not really going to cut it. That's going to cut it, though. Tap the castle. Alistair. Two cards in hand. I think I keep scrying. I think the 1-1 one -one isn't as much worth as a scry here. This got a push. Hmm. I have a 7-7 seven -seven blocker, I think. But they might have two push in hand. They just want to get more land drops. But them discarding the push kind of disrespects my ability to just block with the hall. So I probably, I, I think they have another one. Let's just take the Leyland Binding. It cost me free mana. Kill the Harvester. I really want to find something like a Fairy or Memory Deluge to get ahead. Uh, it's probably better than, than like a random card. Just answers the threat on board at least. I'll try it. I'm not super sure. Maybe I should be more greedy and like bottom both and hope for Wandering Emperor, the Fairy, Memory Deluge, cards like that. Yeah, you know, like the one for one plan. Tough, tough, tough to do that. Temporary Lockdown looks decent here. I have the Hall to block with. I mean, what's going on here? They have a second push. Could also be a go for the throat. They wouldn't just attack if they didn't have it, I think. They could just stay back, activate castle. I'll just scry. See if I find like a temporary lockdown, then I will take the damage. That's a good card, I guess. Um, huh. Yeah, but at this point, they might just be grinding me out of that castle lock twine. Yeah, probably. 
it's funny that I said that the blue white deck wins the late game, but mm, the high facts are like my memory deluge and them also having castle. Yeah, the mana base is really good. That's why Greg played four Field of Ruin because of Castle Lock Twain, Hive, Den of the Bug Bear, of course. This kind of powered kill, yeah. My assumption that they have a removal for the 7 7 is, is likely correct. I don't want to make a samurai, I think it's just gonna get killed. But I guess then my whole. Oh god. That's rough. Mm. Could scry in the upkeep to find Leyline Binding, but then I don't have the option to draw the Fairy or Verdict. Go to 6. Alright, that is a good draw. Potentially. Let's tap like this. Now let's tap like this. Okay, and a field. Yeah, take those. Maybe we can make a comeback here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Pass. Remember your training. Mm hmm. No threat. Oof. That's pretty good for me. Uh, Memory Lush would leave me with three mana. I mean, I mean I'm six life. Um, I'll just make a samurai. Blow up the castle. Must the people. And pass. Okay, that was, that was big. They uh, just stopped casting threats here. I mean, they flooded pretty badly. Lots of lands, and they likely have like two removals in hand. Bone Crusher? No, no, nothing. What? Okay. Not a land. Wow. So concerned. One more card in hand. Um, four, six, seven. I could find a March of Otherworldly Light. I'll go for that. I think the last card in hand is a removal for the hall. This one can take out the one ones. I've got a free life here. Huh. I probably should take a Deluge. Um, Leyland Binding takes out the Kiki. What's more important, Lockdown or Leyline Binding? Probably the Binding. Back to wandering. That's good. <clears throat> that is very good. Let's. I'm at free, so I don't die to Bone Crusher. So let's do this first and see if I can find a, a verdict. Shock. Shock, shock, shock. Just take both shocks. I, I could take the planes and I could cast both my spells. Uh, I think I'll take the land actually, because I do have a deluge in the graveyard as well. So. I have plenty of resources. I don't need to take double shock there. And this gives me the option to Leyline Binding the Kiki and then make a 2-2 two -two and block the, the one ones with the 2-2. Two -two. Gotta be careful to not die against uh, Bone Crusher though. Fable. Alright. Um, hmm. They're gonna copy the Goblin Shaman. And then can Leyline bind in your Goblin Shaman? I guess that's a good deal for me. In response to them activating the Kiki. Hmm. 
And then I can play the Emperor, make a 2-2. Two -two. Probably going to kill the 2-2. Two -two. Then I go to 1. And then I minus 2 on the Kiki, go up to 3 again. Let's see. Yeah, they have another removal in hand. Yep. Wow, what a game, what a game. Okay, so if I cast this, I could find Verdict. If I cast this, I don't have any other plays. I go to the free life. What a close one. Whew. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The Deluge could again find me Verdict or Lockdown. I have like one, I have two locked down on the bottom of my deck because I, or even three. I think it might be three because I, no, at least one or two, two at least. Then the verdict, I cast one. Ah, uh, it's quite, um, if I do this, I cannot do the Castle Ardenvale. Probably best to just pass the turn, honestly. Also play my land, minus here, and then just pass. <clears throat> this is quite the game. They kept, oof. Maybe it's a removal. We'll make a free free shock. And then I'll make a 1-1. One, one. Doesn't seem to be a removal. So I don't want to go to 2 live. Oh, I could have made a 4-4 four, four shark. Oopsie. I, I miscounted. What do you got? The honor of the Veil. Hmm. I guess it wouldn't have mattered against that card. Oh, it would have mattered because they plus. Oh god, honor. Oh well. Um. Oh well. But I'm gonna be okay, I think. I'll just do this, I pass the turn. I mean, it is obviously a punt. I just miscounted, this could have been a 4-4, but I mean, if it would have been a 4-4, they would have just killed it, so. It's also interesting that they plus there. All right, I'll let that happen. Then they can plus the Lily or minus, no, they can't minus anymore, so they just plus. And now I memory deluge. We all have things we'd rather forget. Get me. To fairy and binding. Then make a 1-1, one, one, I guess. What a game, what a game. Fear of ruin. <clears throat> Play to fairy. Plus. Oh, that's good. Attack this <clears throat> and then just kill the Kiki off. What a game, Jesus. Loving it. <laughs> Recording working? Yep, everything fine. That's fine. Okay. You attack. I can just make a 1 1, right? And then still have rewind up. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I could have just chump walked. Oh no, I missed lethal there. Oops. I, I didn't think they were so low on uh, life. They had 11 somehow. I ah, had yeah, a castle, right? Um, so I could have just let the 1 1 live. Untap, attack for 11. <laughs> Another punt. They were only run two swarms. That's good to know. 
that doesn't matter really like they have nothing left attack for 10 rewinds in hand this should be it some crazy uncounterable haste fred croxa croxa would kill me yeah ah uh, i guess i could draw into a spell with this then croxa wouldn't kill me okay well what a game one here for this video amazing Okay, I definitely like the Dream Trawler in this matchup. Temporary Lockdown is interesting. Ethergust is debatable. Vito is debatable. Ethergust, they have a lot of black cards too. So Temporary Lockdown, huh? It does exile Croxa. They drew a lot of lands this game, I must say. I mean, I got a little lucky in the mid to late game there. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Temporary Lockdown, maybe a two off. Put in the Stream Trawler. And Vito. Make Disappear. It's a decent card on the draw, I think. I think this is fine. Like, I'm thinking about Evergas, but it is a bit narrow, you know. Like, I mean... This isn't a great target. This is only a good target on the stack. I also have Bankbuster. I mean, like Lockdown might not be that bad, but I honestly don't know what to cut. The Rewind is a little clunky, but the Rewind is a weird card in the sense that it is clunky, of course, but then it also can be a huge tempo swing. Mm, don't want to cut any of the high-end cards. Yeah, I really don't know. Like Lockdown seems fine. I just... Only play free videos, play lockdown. Maybe on the play, I go lower on the lockdowns. Because on the play, it's easier for me to keep up stuff like Ethergast and Durbin's video. Yeah, but on the draw, when you're already behind a step, then maybe better to do it with the lockdown. All right, let's keep this. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Like a game like this, if they ha go Harvester into Fable, a uh, lockdown is actively great here. Definitely a no. Here, lockdown actively awkward. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to find land drops. Can't keep up color magic. That's that's perfect. Those can stay. Now just hoping they deploy into this verdict. The Rakdos lists of late are not running that many planeswalkers anymore. <laughs> At least the ones I saw. <laughs> okay, well, knowing that you play Chandra. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I played incorrectly this game. I think I did everything correct. I just needed to find lands there. Um, but knowing that they have that, I might want to have Ethergus in my deck. Yep. You're going down. Needle. I could rewind here. Needle. Needle onto Fairy. Needle on Wandering Emperor. Yeah, Rewind looking pretty good here. I mean, when it works, it is, it is kind of nutty. Zero mana, essentially. Not, not essentially, it's zero mana. <laughs> um, I have to ferry to get rid of the Chandra. I mean, my hope is to just draw land. I think I'm gonna cast this here and make a samurai. Try to block. I could have also taken the damage, make a samurai end of turn to attack the Chandra. Shielded. I go to eight. There's the land, okay. 
And now I just go verdict. They don't have a man land, they have one card left. Make a 2-2, two, two. tap land. Pass. Plus, go to 6. Alright, that's a good sign. Bone Crusher. Faded Push, still in the deck, okay. Croxa is like so scary. I wouldn't have beaten a Croxa in the last game. And here it also looks pretty gross. Um, they don't have hasters, right? So I don't need to worry about making a 2 2. They do have Bone Crusher on the ferry. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, Ethergust is also decent against Croxa. Perhaps I should bring it in. But I really don't know what to cut. Like the the absorb maybe? Make this appear in Vito seem kinda good. Like Able. Ah. Alright. I mean I'm I'm gonna be okay, I think. They they can draw into the Chandra. I could shuffle, I suppose, with the field, get rid of the Chandra. But with having Vito in hand, I don't mind if they play a Chandra. Um, could exile the Goblin. I think that makes sense. But I could also just trade with it. But I kind of want to have a free free to block the bone crusher with later. Perfect. The ferry, right? Yeah. Plus. Attack. Strike fast and strike hard. I'm at six. Uh, they have Fortsies off the top. I have Leyline Binding and Vito, so I, I think I should be fine. <clears throat> Untapping the Field of Ruin is showcasing that I don't have Absorb, which might make my opponent more likely to play the Chandra. I have the Vito, and they don't have an attack here. So, I mean, they have an attack, but it's not a good one. So, this game is looking like it's done. Um, oh, wow. Leyline Binding and Shock Devon is kind of nuts. <laughs> Make a 6-6. Six, six. All right. You know what? I'm going to go for that. I'll make another 2-2. Two, two. Attack for the free free. And pass. I don't. I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I have good blocks right now on the board, so I don't need to play my binding. I can wait until they do something like this. Um. Oh, this is gross. I love it. This is so gross. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Victory against Reactors Midrange. Yeah. Okay. That is good for blue white. And in the sense that if Blue White or this version of the deck has a good Rakdos match right, that's that's a pretty good 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 thing in the format. If your deck is good against Rakdos and is otherwise like playable, <laughs> that's uh, mostly the, that's half the half the way sort of. Would like to play first? Yes, uh, let's keep on the play. I'd say on the draw, Oof, a bit dicey with two cards that cost three or more essentially, but. On the play, I think I can do it. Um, again, like this deck, you really have to survive the early game. That's 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 the name of the game. Late game with Yari and all the memory deluge card advantage. You're usually fine. Humans, it is likely humans. 
Hey, we drew a two drop. Let's go. Um, Field of Ruin is good against Meter Vault here. I hope they don't have a Talia. Uh, not, not Talia, so happy. Bodyguard, okay. Um, I'll just stem the bleeding a little bit here by exiling the officer. Then I will keep up Absorb next turn for something like another lean, and then they can hit me for 4 damage per turn until I find a Lockdown or Sweeper. Yeah, Domin's Veto, eh, not the best in this matchup. Pretty much a dead card. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's gonna get countered. <clears throat> 4 Lockdown, 3 Verdict should make this matchup pretty good. At least game 1. They might have destroyed evil for the lockdown for game two. Oh, that's an incredibly fast draw. Triple one drop into two drop, one drop, turn three. Jeez. All right. Okay. Play my ruin pass. I'm at 19 still, so. A free free shark would obviously be nice against this board state. Or I make a 1-1. One, one. Let's see what they do. <laughs> Funny. Humans made top 4 at Proto-Phyrexia with Ossification instead of Brave the Elements, a new card from Phyrexia, all be will be 1. I could play with that version of the deck too. Might just do that, right? Like, Ossification is definitely a very different card to Brave the Elements. And uh, yeah, that was a very good result. Um, six damage going to 13. If I just blow up the Meter Vault next turn, make a free free in combat, eat up this Hopeful, they will put me down to seven life. And I have a free free blocker. If I just make a Shark Typhoon 1 1, block like the Officer. The Officer likely has protection, yeah, it does. They'll take 4, go to 15, but that won't have a really good blocker. I think I have so many decent draws I can draw into that I'm just going to do this. Because if I don't use my mana efficiently this turn, yeah, something like that, well, that card is actually not that good here. Uh, let's block that. Mm, it absorbs a lot of damage, though, that they have to attack the Teferi at this point in the game. So it's, it's quite sort of like gain six, draw a card, which isn't like terrible. Well, this is perfect too. Uh, um, just draw another shark. <laughs> Works. Shark Typhoon is a is a pretty pretty neat card. Uh, they're gonna get punished. Playing around Castle Ardenvale here. But I have the shark. So good. Mm-hmm. They are playing the Ossification version. Uh huh. Field of Ruin. I won't hide from the world any longer. You know what? I'm not afraid. I was wondering if I should just feel the ruin in my turn there. Like if they just attack my Teferi, pass. Ugh. Ugh. That's not what I wanted to see. Now I now I need to top deck something. Drew a lot of lands here. Uh-huh. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. 
Yeah, I was hoping for anything but like a pump. So Adeline and Talia as lieutenant, I guess. Lumina Aspirin would have done it too. Yeah, they had a lot of outs there. They only had one, like two cards left, so. Island. Okay. That can find me a lockdown. <clears throat> Not such luck today. Um, I guess I'll take the cycling land. Yeah, I, I play the island. I mean, if they don't play into my make disappear, I'm just gonna cycle anyways. Shit, sure. Funny that initiate is kind of good against my lockdown, but if they don't keep up the mana, they're gonna get God. I love magic. Um, great. So memory deluge can't find me nothing. So the only card I can, really, I, I guess, no, no, I just I have to do this. Block, take, five, six, seven, it's lethal. What a freaking sad game. What a sad game. Oh well. Um, rewinds. Oh, my sideboard isn't really existent for this match. <laughs> I guess I gotta keep the rewind, huh? Um, they might have... Yeah, no, I don't have a sideboard for this matchup. I could play a whole break of heart to stabilize with. Um, yeah, I'm not playing Vito. They might have vetting announcement. They likely have it, but I'm not playing Vito for, for just vetting announcement. I'm not doing that. I guess Greg was not expecting much humans, or rather, he was already pretty happy with his main deck for this particular matchup, which I understand. Four lockdown is incredibly good against humans. You just gotta find the card. Um, this hand is weird. Probably keep it. Like, it's just... I wouldn't keep it on the draw against them. I'd be too scared about Talia, but I think on a play it's fine. She finds me uh, sweepers with this. I have a Shark Typhoon. We also have the land, which... Makes the Leyline Binding cheaper. That was such a sad game, honestly. <laughs> um, so this costs free mana. I kind of need lands too, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My deck feels so clunky right now. This costs free mana, right? Yes. Yeah, so it costs four mana of Talia and play. That's so bad. I think I'm going to bottom both. I just want to find untapped land here. Or sweepers. That's neither. Well, pass. I think it's fine to bottom the tap land there because I have a lot of lands in my deck and I have more draws with these shark typhoons. Pass. Nothing. Huh. What does this mean? Is there something in Flash and Humans? There's Guardian of Faith, I guess. Hmm. Um, well, the Shark Typhoon in itself doesn't do much here, so I'm just going to Omen. Again, the Shark Typhoon doesn't really do anything, but I kind of need some lands at least. I probably played a Javari here tapped. Take four, go to nine. I could play Yorian technically. I could, could get Yorian back. It's probably not, not the move though. Should just go Shark into Shark, likely, something like that. Especially if they. Did. What's going on here? Maybe they're really sitting on some protection spell. But if they're playing Ossification, they likely don't have Rave, right? That card is. Pretty bad against Shark Typhoon, at least. Um, but it adds up with Talia to make a <laughs> Memory Deluge look pretty unplayable. 
Um, what do I do here? Omen or make a shark? I think I'll just omen again. I'm still at nine. Like I don't need the one-one shark in play. It's just gonna be a chump blocker. I want to have three-three shark into four-four shark. That sounds like a game plan. I like that card, but I don't like it against Red Dane. But Red Dane is gonna die. I think I'm gonna bottom both. Ooh, that's that cuts. That cuts actively good. Um, so I want to cast that over Shark Typhoon. <laughs> Probably the safer play. I'm not sure. They gotta read into the Shark Typhoon. It's kind of obvious. So they, but then they don't have any attacks. They have a temporary lock. If they have a, um, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna pass it turn. I think it's fine. If they have a ton, like they don't have any attacks here. They need an instant speed removal, or they need Talia's lieutenant, or just not play around shark. They could have braved the elements. Yeah, they're just not playing around it. What is this? A Ganjo, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's that's that works, I guess. Play a two drop. Yes, good. Play another two drop, no? Alright. So if I do this. I have to. I lose all my omens, which is kinda of funny. Um God damn it though, I'm still gonna lose now. I got a one. Huh. So I just need to lock down last turn. Got a one. I need an untapped land now. Mm, yeah, still need an untapped land. Mm, that doesn't do it. I could Shark Typhoon into one one. Make a one one and draw into something. No. I'm dead. I could omen of the sea. Ah, uh, yeah, let's see. Damn it, huh? Maybe I needed to keep a land for the dream trawler, I guess. It's a bit greedy bottoming all these lands. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, I could keep the field, but no, I just nothing, nothing does enough. The Mutavolt killed me, kinda. I mean, other things would have also done it. The Iganjo plus the Mutavolt, da 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 da. Yeah, nothing I can do. God damn it. I guess I could... I could hope they play they play around Wandering Emperor. I could have kept the Wandering Emperor. I mean, I could have done things differently this game. Really could have done things differently. It was interesting. All these scry decisions, all the things I did there. Could have kept the land. Would have, would have, yeah, would have won me the game maybe with the Dream Trawler. Who knows? GG. Play first again, I like that. Uh, so the Leylands are cheaper, but I don't have a third land. This is the type of hand I don't like keeping on the play in a control deck like this. It just, you need to hit your land drops. So this costs four mana here. Bit clunky, but on the other hand, it kind of combines well with the lockdown. So I think I'm just going to cut the Shark Typhoon. Keep bottom of shark. Lockdown and binding are pretty good with Yorian. Um to reset. Like, if, or, uh, sorry, against tokens especially, right? Okay, we're playing against Greasy. Greasy, Greasy, Greasy. Do I just want to cycle this shark for nothing? So my turn four is going to keep up this. Turn three is going to return this. Turn five, make a free free. Like 
direction. Du, 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 du. Yeah, not sure about Cycle Shark Day or not. Maybe you should do it. Just wanna, you know, get some more value out of my card. That's instead of just cycling it. I have the lands that I need. I have two land drops, so not in much need of anything. There's a grease fang to the bin. Um but no vehicle yet. Interesting. This helps with the binding. Hmm. Interesting. I think I just verdict here, right? They go chariot, I can just go lockdown. <clears throat> the late unbending is getting cheaper and cheaper. Late unbinding seems decent in this matchup, just as a instant speed answer to Grease Fang. Usually blue white only has fateful absence to do that. Attack. All right, I'll trade. Do you get push? No, you get crew, right? Now we can lock down and then later with Yori and lock down again, maybe. Uh, let me see. Do I want to play Omen first or after lockdown? So if I put the Omen under the lockdown, it would come back, but then it's the same thing. So like if I flicker it with my Yorian or it comes back from this, it's the same thing. So <laughs> uh well, I guess. Uh-huh, alright. Let's see what you find. Cherry and a sky sovereign. Alright, that's plenty reason to kill the Grease Fang. That's the third Grease Fang, by the way. But you never know how many can stay away they play, so they could just... Oh, it's the fourth, actually. They milled two. Uh, okay. No, actually, I killed two of them. They milled one, and I killed two of them, right. <clears throat> I'll keep that absorb, yeah. They're almost hard casting Pahelion, which is kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Pay two life. Uh, cry. No, no. Okay. Could technically scry, you could make a stop and then scry with the trigger on a stack. I don't know. I mean, maybe this was actually a mistake, huh? The scry is really valuable in this situation. Maybe that was a mistake. Aravara, huh. Okay. This has a land. You can never have enough lands and play with, with blue white. Memory Deluge as a top deck. Let's see, I mean. Guess. I'll make you pay. You gain knowledge of my Odavara for two life. You paid the price. So it could technically bounce the lockdown. 
get the omen into play. <laughs> I think that's actually reasonable. The Scry 2 is so good here, and the, the, the Wayfinder doesn't really do anything for them. Like, it's it's a 1-1, one, one, you know. Maybe maybe their mill can't stay away. That, that'd be a bad outcome, of course, but the extra that Oh, Sage? Oh, holy shoot. <laughs> Whoa, bro, that was... Uh... Okay, uncounterable destruction for my leyline binding. All right, those those two are pretty good. Uh, yeah, I keep those. Well, that was that was. I um, say the way find a hitting Busseju. I mean, wow, I must say Busseju is usually not a card this deck plays. Um, but hey, that is a that is a pretty good one in this matchup. Wow, yeah, not bad, not bad. Not bad. I mean, they're thinking about killing the, the ley line now. Plus, yeah, I have plenty of mana to re rewind and ley line. It's funny. Hmm. I mean, I think I made the right call there. It's to say that wave and it really doesn't, you know, can maybe hit a can stay away. But Boseju, they, I've never seen Boseju in, in Abs and Grease Fang. I think it's, a, it's outright wrong, probably. I mean, depends on your version a little bit. I guess if you're not playing Scrap Work mod, your mana is a little easier. I'll take a hello to fountain. Could have taken Rafine's Tower to make my ley line even cheaper. I know, I know, I know. But um I I wanna have Rafine like at this point it doesn't matter. Like, if it costs one or two, I think, it's not going to come up. And I want to have the the Rafine's Tower over Hallowed Fountain in my deck in case I draw one of the... If I, if I draw Rafine's Tower, I can cycle it, right? That's the nice thing there. You crew, because why not, I guess? Um. Well, the funny thing is... You don't have nothing left. You don't have a grease thing left. They could have one copy of Night of Autumn. All right, I'll play around that. I think it's unlikely that they have it. But if they have it, they can destroy my Leyland Binding. Now, yeah, I don't know. March, okay. Plus. Um, probably just play this, kill the 2 1, start attacking. Blue white control. My comfort zone. Okay. Mm, <laughs> that's fine, I guess. Whew, they're missing a lot of cards. Maybe they have to can't stay away, but I have another removal, so I can kill the grease fang. Nope, nothing. Draw another cards. We need to move quickly. All right, attack. Uh, 
Interesting. Um, I guess I'll just play both my things. Okay. It's actually... No, it's not lethal. No, I had 7 damage there. Okay. Rest in peace. Denik. And that's pretty much it. Dream Troller is clunky and slow. So what's bad? Uh, what's bad? Vito is like a question mark. I mean, nah, Vito seems actually decent, huh? They have Grizzly. They maybe have Liliana in the board. Mm, Chariot. It seems fine. Mm, Gust less so. I think Gust is just the worst Vito, pretty much. Yeah. Um, What is bad? What is bad? Not much, I guess. Lockdown is... In Morning Emperor is like fine. Lockdown, how it's locked on this matchup. I think it's I think it's good because it gets rid of the small guys that they need for sorry about that. They need for evolution. So I gotta cut free cards. Difficult. Maybe I gotta cut a lockdown, maybe I cut some of these. Shark Typhoon. I'll cut a Shark Typhoon, add an Emperor back. Could also play this one. It just wins the late game. Games might get grindy. Hmm. Interesting. They don't really, they can't really beat that card. So it was just a question, how long will these games go? I mean, this game went forever. I'm going to try it. Just try it. I'm not like convinced that Holbreak Horror is for this matchup. I mean, it's clearly not for this matchup. But it could, you know, it could just be a, a lock piece for seven mana, essentially. They can't remove it. It's just going to make... Everything they have obsolete. Okay, I can work with this. Mm. Yeah. Five cards, okay. Uh, Grease Fang is not bad at mulliganing. They just have a Rafine's Informant into Grease Fang, that's already good enough. Wayfinder. Ooh, Wayfinder missing, but to be fair, I won't be smiling any longer if they just cast a Grease Fang here and get the Paelina to play. No, no, no Grease Fang, lucky me. Um, another Wayfinder. Oh, oh, that hurts, that's... That is painful to watch. Yeah, they're gonna. That is painful. Mm. I think I'll wait for the shock. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Informant. Yep. Chariot. I'll trade. Hmm, memory deluge. Lovely. No grease thing in the bin, so can't stay. Oh no, never mind. It's the the weird artwork of grease thing that's already there. Uh, choices. As I could just um, march or leyline binding. March seems pretty mana efficient. March for free. Casting Dovin's Veto doesn't seem so mana efficient. I could cast Dovin's Veto and then march the Rafine's Informant, but that seems awfully aggressive. I'm just gonna march um, this. Maybe I should just lie line binding, because march is actually cheapened with the Teferi. Hey, I don't need two Teferi this game. They're on multiple five, so I can march for two mana. On the other hand, Leyline Binding has risk involved. If they have like an instant speed for Seiju again, stuff like that, March is just a clean answer. Mm. 
Mm, pass. That's fine. I guess I could have vetoed. Hmm. Maybe I should veto it. Yeah, now they take binding and they have Grease Fang. Seiju likely. Takanuma. Okay. That should do the trick. Uh, take a land as well. Do they have lanes? Likely not, right? This could just be a stone rain here. Nah, do you have a swamp or something? Well, it looks like they have something, no? They have a swamp. Hmm. Not entirely out of this game. They have land. They have a land. So they have chariot here. Maybe the field of ruin was, was greedy. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Like the one way I lose this game is chariot, really. Uh, I guess a Teferi Minus. I think if they had Chariot, they would have played it there, so I don't need to have it. Yeah, I mean, they were... They were Severely unlucky with those Seda Wayfinders, but to be fair, they're not playing many lands, so Seda Wayfinder isn't. It can miss in the deck, but that was pretty unlucky nonetheless. Um, yeah, that was blue-white control. I think it looks pretty good. The loss against humans, I don't know, I think with a better draw, we could have certainly won against that deck, and, and this list is prepared for, for the matchup with four lockdowns in the main deck. It's just the best card. Um, yeah, I, I like this deck. Leyland Binding didn't look that bad. We we had this these triumphs. I might I might play it honestly for the Explorer Qualifier Weekend. I mean it's still time until then and I have uh, a Prague modern event which I'm gonna play in first. But uh yeah, this looks certainly reasonable and this might be an approach for blue white control to beat Rakdos with the Yorian package, having better late game than Rakdos. And also have certain tools and temporary lockdown for the fast decks and leyline binding for extra utility against you know stuff like Grease Fang. So I've been uh, I've been pretty happy with this one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.